Hey, Leah. It's good to see you. You too. I haven't seen you in a few days. How are you? How's it going? Not bad. I'm so busy with the classes I'm taking. How about you? I'm okay. I know you're busy with classes. My job's really hectic this time of year, too. What's new with you? Nothing much. I'm on my way to the mall. <laughs> I need some time off. Do you remember Lana? She's there. <laughs> She's always at the mall. I think a lot of our friends plan to just hang out at the mall tonight. Who? Oh, yeah. I remember Lana. She's the one with the scary looking dog. I don't want to hang out with that dog. <laughs> you aren't afraid of that little tiny dog, are you? Well, I'm sure Rover isn't at the mall. Actually, I'm headed to the mall later anyway. There's a huge sale going on. I think they're open extra late. Great. Maybe I'll see you there. Sounds good. We're both good shoppers. If I get there before you leave, maybe I'll see you. After all, we aren't leaving until we see all the sales. And I'm not leaving until I have some cute new shoes. Hi, I'm Leah Chen. Your neighbor from around the block? We're having a barbecue Saturday, and we thought you might like to come. Lots of the neighbors will be there. Jay and Ramon are coming too. They're your neighbors across the street. It's nice to meet you, Leah. I'd like to come, but I'll be working all weekend on a big project for my job. Well, if you change your mind, come on over. You're welcome to come, and I think it will be fun for you to meet all the neighbors. Thanks. By the way, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hope my dog's barking doesn't bother you. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. When you're gone during the day, the dog barks all the time. It's driving me nuts. I'm really sorry. I'll keep the dog in the house when I'm gone. Thanks so much. I hope you'll come over for some burgers and dogs on Saturday and drop by our house to visit any time. Good afternoon, Unionville Transit System. This is Stanley speaking. Hi, I need some travel information. I need to go to 52nd Street and Broadway. I live on 8th Street near 5th Avenue. Well, you can take the B12 bus to Mercer Street, then you'll have to catch the B9. You can take the subway too. I live near a bus stop, so I prefer to take the bus. What time does it come? The buses run about every 15 minutes. Bus schedules are posted at the bus stop. You can also check our website. How much does it cost? You'll need $2 and change. The driver won't take dollar bills, and he won't give you change. Make sure you have exact change. Okay. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Large cities have very efficient subway systems. Taking these trains can get you just about anywhere in the city, and you don't have to wait outside in the rain. At some stations, there may be people singing or playing a musical instrument. This can be an entertaining way to wait for the train, unless the singer isn't very good. <laughs> for most subway systems, you will need a token or fare card. You can buy these right at the station either at the token booth or at the ticket machine. You can put dollars right into the machine. It will give you a fare card in the amount you choose. To get onto the platform, slide the card into the card reader or put a token into the slot. Then push through the turnstile and hop on the train. I need some tokens, please. One way or round trip? Round trip. And I'd like a few extra ones, please. 
Most people aren't crazy about carrying around a lot of tokens. Maybe you should just get a fair card. It's better than a pocket full of tokens, and you can use it any time. Thanks. That's a good idea. Do I need exact change for a fair card? No, the machine can take bills, and it will give you change. Thanks for the tip. Now, can you tell me where I get the train to Broadway, and where do the trains arrive? Sure. Catch the train right over there. Just follow the signs for northbound uptown trains. You'll have to change at 34th Street for the D train. Thanks. And can you tell me where the restroom is? Right over there on the left. If the train and bus won't take you where you need to go, or if you're in a hurry, you can call a cab. In larger cities, you can hail a cab on the street. Just step off the sidewalk into the street, watch for cars and buses, and raise your arm. You can also call out, taxi. In cities, the fares are posted right in the cab, and the rates are set by a group that regulates taxi companies. If you need a ride in a smaller city or town, you can call a car service. This is a private taxi company that usually does not have cars driving around the streets. Drivers wait in the office until someone calls, and then a manager will dispatch a car. You can also call in advance and arrange to be picked up on another day. Little Apple Car Service. This is Larry speaking. Hi, I need a car to take me to the airport at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. Do you need to be there at 5.30, or is that when you want us to pick you up? I need to be at the airport at 5.30, or I'll miss my flight. That's right in the middle of rush hour. Traffic will be a nightmare at that time. I'll have a car get you at 2 p.m. What's your address? Are you fed up with hanging around waiting for buses and trains? They go everywhere, but waiting at that bus stop gets pretty chilly in winter. Cabs are really convenient, but they sure can be expensive. What's the perfect solution? Drive. I know, I know, you may not have a car. The good news is that it's cheaper to get a license than to get a car. Huh. And although you can't borrow a driver's license, you can rent a car. But watch out for those crazy drivers. You'll need to make sure you know the rules of the road. Each state has all the information and rules about getting a license on its DMV website. The bad news? There is usually a test. Hi, I'd like to get a New Jersey driver's license. Do you want to renew a New Jersey license or apply for a new one? I don't have a New Jersey license, but I have my license from my country. You can't use that here. Do you have an application? No, I don't. You'll need to fill out an application. Do you have the required picture ID? Yes, I do. And I have my passport. Do I need anything else? You can check this list of required documents. If you have all the paperwork, you just need to take a vision test and the written test. When that person is finished, you can go to booth number nine and have your picture taken. Yikes! Can I skip the picture? I'm having a bad hair day. Sorry, our state requires a photo license. So you'd like to take the family for a drive in the country. A train might take you there, but it's so much easier to see the sights by driving around in a car. Maybe it's time to rent a car. It's always a good idea to check many car rental companies to find the best price. You can search on the internet or call the company's 800 number. What kind of car do you want? You'll need to decide on a type, economy, midsize, or luxury. You can choose the car that fits your needs. Be prepared to pay more for larger cars. 
you'll also need to buy insurance, just in case a bear in the country decides that your compact car is lunch. Hello. I'd like to rent a car for the weekend. Do you have a driver's license with you? Yes, I do. If you want an economy car, we have a nice compact outside. Is it a four-door? No, it isn't. It's a two-door, but it has a hatchback, and it has a sunroof. Do you have anything bigger and faster? Well, we have a mid-sized convertible, but the compact is more economical. How about a big van? I have a large family. Sure, we have a van. It's very roomy. It's the biggest and most expensive of the three. Well, I'd like the convertible for myself, but I guess I'll take the van. Maybe next time. Oops, what are those flashing lights behind you? Oh no. Were you careful to watch the speed limit signs along the road? Those flashing lights don't mean a party this time. They mean the police officer would like to have a little chat with you. Maybe you shouldn't have rented that fancy car after all. The flashing lights on a police car usually mean the police officer has noticed a moving violation. If a cop pulls you over, move to the shoulder of the road right away, as safely as you can. Be careful of traffic on the highway. It's important to be respectful to the officer, even if you're not sure why he or she is stopping you. Good morning, sir. I pulled you over because the speed limit is 50 miles per hour. You were driving much faster than that. You were doing 70. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't notice the sign, but I thought I was driving slower than that. I need to see your license and registration. I don't have my license with me. I think I left it at home. You need to have license and registration with you in the car at all times, sir. I'm going to issue you a ticket for speeding and another one for not having the proper documents. You can call the clerk's office to find out the amount of the fines. Can I just pay you now? Sir, police officers aren't allowed to take money. You have to call the clerk's office. You can go there to pay in person, or you can mail it in. This is my first speeding ticket. Have a nice day, sir. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. All that waiting for the bus and hailing taxis has made me hungry. Hungry? Yes. In the mood to cook? No way. Hmm. The hard part is deciding where to go and what to eat. Restaurant choices are endless. Steaks, vegetarian meals, burgers, pizza, and ethnic cuisine from just about every country on earth. Even the picky eaters will be happy. But I think some takeout is just what the doctor ordered. There's nothing like fast food after a busy day. <laughs> fast food for when you're feeling slow. But don't let fast food's bad rap fool you. It's more than just burgers and fries with a chocolate shake. With people becoming more health conscious and conscious of those extra pounds, restaurants are providing more and more healthy choices. Salads, water, lean proteins, and whole grain breads. In fact, many restaurants now post the calorie counts of their menu items. I'm not sure I want to know that my mega cheeseburger lunch has more calories than I need for an entire day. Once you have your dream dinner in mind, you can just hop into your car and head to the nearest drive through Sure, it may seem a little strange telling a machine that you want a mega burger with cheese, but when you continue to the window to pay, the cashier will have your juicy burger order all ready to go. Ah, I can taste the fries already. Can I take your order, please? Hmm, 
A burger sounds good. I think I'll have a mega burger with cheese, extra pickles, no mayo. Anything to drink with that? I'd like a Coke, extra large. Anything else? Yes, a kid's meal with chocolate milk and chicken nuggets. Would you like fries with that? Hmm, the fries smell great. But do you have fruit instead? Sure, you can have an apple or fruit cup. Mom, you know I like fruit cups, but I'd like to have the apple, but only if they put a pie around it. <laughs> Wow, look at that guy. He can really move. What's the big deal? I can do that. Ha! Huh. You want me to believe that you can run like a football player? You don't think I can? Of course I can. Okay, maybe I can't. But I sure could run when I was in high school. I was a star of the school track team. Wow, you can remember all the way back to high school? <laughs> Well, let's just watch the pros. Woohoo! Touchdown! I don't know about anyone here running, but both of you sure can eat. You're hogging all the snacks. If you guys don't stop pigging out, there won't be any left for the next half. Pass the nachos. Here, dig in! <laughs> Not me. I guess that's a hint that I should watch my weight. <laughs> Hi, Fitness World Gym, Larry speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information on your gym memberships, please. Sure, we have two different types of memberships. You can pay as you go, where you pay $5 every time you want to use the facilities and $5 for every class you attend. Then there's a monthly plan where you pay a flat rate of $45 per month. With the monthly plan, you can come in as often as you want and go to as many classes as you want. Both plans require an annual fee. Sounds good. What equipment do you have? All the usual stuff. We have a cardio room with treadmills, ellipticals, all that kind of stuff. A weight room with all sorts of weight machines and free weights. What classes can I take? We have yoga, Pilates, aerobics. There's a whole bunch of them. Check out our website for more information on the class schedules. Is there a pool? No, but we do have a sauna, cafe, and babysitting facilities. That's great! What about the hours? We're open every day from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Would you like me to schedule a tour for you? Hey, great! Can you throw in a free day pass, too? Sure. Drop in any time, and I'll give you a day pass. Hey, do you guys feel like heading up the Delaware River next weekend? The weather should be great, so we'll be able to go canoeing. You know me. I'm up for anything. Cool. My brother has a boat on a lake nearby. We'll be able to spend a day on the river and then go water skiing the next day. A boat? Count me out. I get really seasick. Oh, don't be such a chicken. It's a small boat on a small lake. Seriously, if it moves on the water and I'm in it, I will throw up. Okay. Leah, it looks like it's just you and me for water skiing. Do you think you'll be able to handle it? What? Put two pieces of wood on my feet and glide across the water? Of course I can. Sorry I won't be able to join you, though I bet it will be pretty funny to watch. Maybe I'll just watch a game on TV. It's your loss. You'll miss seeing your two friends water ski like pros. You've spent all that time working out and getting into shape. You must be exhausted. It's the perfect time for a vacation. There are vacation options for any style and to suit any pocketbook. Give me a five-star hotel in a fancy resort, 
But my buddy prefers a small tent and a backpack full of camping gear. Ew, bugs. Let's take a look at some of the choices. Maybe you're on a tight budget. Maybe you spent too much for that gym membership. Or you may have a crazy schedule at work and you can't take too many days off, but you'd still like some R&R. There's a perfect solution and even a word to describe it. Staycation. Instead of going away, you stay right at home and do fun vacation things nearby. These day trips can be as much fun as a fancy vacation. Consider a trip to the art museum or attend a concert. Pack up the kids, pack the car, and head to the beach for a day of sun, sand, and surf. Places like New York City have ferries you can ride for free. These boats will make you feel like you're on a fancy cruise. Well, a fancy cruise without waiters and fancy meals. In New York City, the ferry to Staten Island gives you a spectacular view of the Statue of Liberty, and it's free. Feeling seasick? Go to a nearby park where you can enjoy a nature hike through the woods. Watch out for the skunks. Many local parks have wilderness trails with signs that identify trees, plants, and animals you may see along your walk. For a day that's a bit more expensive, you might try a kid-friendly place like the zoo, an amusement park, or a water park. Don't forget the sunscreen. You have a little sunburn, Leah. I think you enjoyed your vacation a little too much. Actually, we just stayed home. We took day trips and we discovered places we didn't even know about right in the neighborhood. We even visited the zoo. It was great fun. Wow, what a great idea. I finished painting the house. It was not great fun. I printed out some new recipes and cooked some interesting ethnic meals too. After we cleaned up, we walked around the neighborhood and chatted with the neighbors. And one day, we traveled to the beach and practiced our beach volleyball skills. I think that's my new favorite sport. The whole week really was a fun staycation. You love adventure. You love the outdoors. You love cooking hot dogs over an open campfire. We have just the vacation for you. Camping. Yes, for the brave soul who's not afraid of critters, bad weather, and bad food, this is another fun vacation choice. Camping requires a lot of very careful advance planning. You'll need to have gear for hot weather and cold, for rain and sunshine, and for grassy fields and rocky riverbanks. If you're in the middle of nowhere, You'll need to carry your own food for all your meals, pots to cook it in, plates to serve it on, and utensils to eat it with. That means a big and heavy knapsack. You'll also need to carry around your own little hotel, a tent, and the equipment to put it up. Don't forget a sleeping bag. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. People who love camping say there's nothing as wonderful as sleeping under the stars. We don't know about you, but we're thinking that would make us bear bait. No thanks. We don't want a bear to eat us for a snack before we can even eat our own trail mix. People tell us that camping can be fun, but we'd rather stay at a fancy hotel. Our camping trip was sure a surprise. Uh-oh. What happened? Well, it started out fine. We planned the trip carefully and found exactly the right snacks. We packed all our stuff and we bought brand new hiking boots. We pitched our tent right beside a small lake. That sounds good. It sounded good to us, too, until we finished our hike the first day. We forgot to break in the new boots. Our feet were sore and blistered. Then we noticed the big black clouds and disaster struck. It poured all night. When we woke up in the morning, the tent was collapsed around us, and we were lying in a huge puddle. 
<laughs> I guess next time you'll stay in a hotel. Now we're talking about our favorite vacation. Camping is fun if you like sleeping in a tent, in the rain, with bugs. But give us a high-class resort any day. These can be very expensive, but they're fun to dream about even if we can't go. The amenities at a five-star resort can make you feel like royalty. So even if the weather is bad, you'll have a great time. An all-inclusive resort is perfect if you can't be bothered keeping track of your expenses. The price includes all meals, drinks, and entertainment. Golf or tennis, the fitness center, and children's activities are also included. The rooms are often larger with king-sized beds. Some places have all suites, so you can really spread out. And the hotel usually has a concierge, who can arrange many extra excursions in the local area, like chartering a boat to go deep-sea fishing or planning a parasailing adventure. Be aware that these excursions are not included in the cost. Other amenities that may not be included are the spa, a salon, and other trips to nearby attractions. Be sure to know in advance exactly what fun activities are included. The downside to an all-inclusive plan is that you may not decide to explore the local town restaurants. After all, you've already paid for your meals at the hotel. On the other hand, if you're in heaven, who wants to leave anyway? Wow, we had a great time on vacation. Yeah, Susan told me you went to a really cool place. Yeah. It was an awesome, all-inclusive resort. We paid for the hotel, and everything we wanted to do was included. Tell me more. Well, the kids spent lots of time in the arcade. Susan and I were happy because they had a beautiful golf course, and of course we spent hours on the beach. It was heaven, just sitting in beach chairs and watching the ocean. What about water sports? Oh, it was so cool. We dove for shells one day and water skied another day. The camp counselors taught the kids how to make paper boats. They thought it was awesome. We even brought some little boats home for souvenirs. Wow, you were busy. Yeah, we sure were. But I think we ate and drank a little too much. It's time for a diet. Deciding on a place to live isn't always easy, although the traditional American dream has typically included buying a house with a yard and a white picket fence. World economies don't always consider traditional dreams. People need to weigh their options when deciding whether to rent an apartment or buy a house. There are many things to consider, and both options have their pros and cons. Probably the biggest advantage to renting is flexibility. Although you'll need to sign a lease agreement, this can be for a short term, sometimes less than a year, which is handy if you think you may be relocating soon. Remember to read the fine print on that contract. It will probably include rules about keeping pets and how much advance notice you need to give the landlord before you move out. You'll need to put down a security deposit which is usually equivalent to one month's rent. Sometimes utilities are included in the rent, but you may need to pay those separately. Very often, the utility companies will charge a hookup fee. Of course, you're on your own if you want cable TV and high-speed internet connections. A big consideration for renters is parking. You're usually out of luck if you choose a big apartment building in a city. However, some apartment complexes in the suburbs provide parking areas. Be careful. This could be a hidden extra. The biggest advantage to renting is that if anything goes wrong, you're off the hook. 
it's the landlord's responsibility to fix it. Buying a house is always a tempting choice. The upside is that instead of paying money to a landlord each month, you pay off the mortgage and own your own home. Of course, the downside is that you'll need a big chunk of change for a down payment. In addition, you'll need to pay closing costs and realtor fees, as well as buying homeowner's insurance. Is renting starting to look better and better to you? Most towns have rules about what you may do with your lot. For example, you'll need to get a permit to put up a fence, and there are rules about how high the fence can be and where on the property line it must go. And let's not forget what American founding father Benjamin Franklin said. In this world, nothing is certain but death and taxes. Ah, yes, another good reason to rent. No property taxes. Although towns provide convenient services like trash collection and recreation, they get the money for these services from a homeowner's property taxes. Hey, Leah, what do you think about the apartment you looked at this morning? Oh, boy. I was pretty disappointed. Really? I'm surprised. I thought you'd love the neighborhood. Yeah, that was the upside. The neighborhood is away from the city, so the yard was beautiful. But here's the downside. There wasn't a subway anywhere near the place. It would take forever to get to work. Could you take a bus? It wasn't on the bus route that goes to my office. And besides, there weren't any appliances. The building had a laundry room in the basement, but I really wanted one in the apartment. And I couldn't believe it didn't even have a microwave. How would I zap my popcorn every night? You could always rent appliances or even buy them secondhand. I guess so. But anyway, it had only one bedroom. We have three kids, so that's just not enough space. There were just too many downsides for me to rent that place. What's that old proverb? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I guess you'll just have to keep looking to find your dream apartment.